simplifying or reducing fractions into lowest term. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to simplify or reduce fraction into its lowest term. Let us start. In simplifying or reducing fraction into its lowest term, we are simply getting the lowest equivalent fraction of a fraction. For example, 4 eighths is equivalent to 1 half. 1 half is the lowest equivalent fraction or lowest term of 4 eighths. Also, 2 six is equivalent to one third and one third is the smallest or the lowest equivalent fraction of two six now how are we going to simplify or reduce fraction into its lowest term let's have this first example four eighths is a proper fraction in reducing a proper fraction we simply take the GCF of the numerator and the denominator. To get the GCF of the numerator and the denominator, let us list down all the possible factors of 4 and 8. We can see that their greatest common factor is 4. Now that we know the GCF, which is 4, we are going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Therefore, the lowest term of 4 eighths is 1 half. Let's have another example. We have here 2 tenths. Let us first get the GCF of the numerator 2 and 10. Very good. The GCF of 2 and 10 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, while 10 divided by 2 is 5. Therefore, the lowest term of 2 tenths is 1 fifths. Let me show you a representation. Now, let's have more examples. About this one 9 ninths how are we going to simplify this we can see that the numerator and the denominator are the same they are both 9 and if you encounter this kind of fraction it is equals to 1 why let's draw a representation a whole divided into nine equal parts where nine parts are taken is one whole the line between the numerator and the denominator also represents division meaning nine divided by nine equals one let's have another one three thirds because the numerator and the denominator are the same, this fraction equals to 1. Let me show you a representation. A whole divided into 3 equal parts, where 3 parts are taken, is 1 whole. Remember, if the numerator and denominator are the same, the fraction is equal to 1. Now, 
How are we going to simplify this one? 9 out of 7 or 9 sevenths. This is an improper fraction. To simplify an improper fraction, we are going to convert it into a mixed number. To convert it into a mixed number, we are going to divide the numerator by the denominator. Therefore, 9 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times 7, 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. Therefore, the mixed number of 9 sevenths is 1 and 2 sevenths. This is now the simplest form of 9 sevenths. Let's have another example. 4 thirds. Since it is an improper fraction, we need to divide the numerator by the denominator. 4 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Therefore, we have 1 and 1 third. And this is now the mixed number of 4 thirds. Great job! Here are the things that you learned today.